Yo, so I'm in Camden right now. Um, hoping to basically buy a, a gun, maybe a shotgun or something. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Retard told me about this place. Uh, just do a quick check because I'm part funny. Um, but yeah, we'll have a look, uh, see what I come out with. Yeah, so I'm in the airsoft place now, uh, Wolf Airsoft, and I think I'm getting a Spaz and possibly a Glock. So yeah, that's a nice little display over there. Out of my price range, but still good to know that it's uh, in Camden. <laughs> Not too far from me. All right, cool, and I'll see you on the flip side. So uh, I just been inside to Wolf Airsoft, and I got my Spaz for 70 quid, plus I had a Glock and special offer for 20 quid. Um, so basically I had no budget. Um, but I was looking at about 100 anyway, and I got about 117. So I got it all, so it's uh, panned out. Thanks to Retard. Uh, I know about the place now. I can always mail order, plus I know who I am. At first, they didn't want to sell to me because they didn't uh, know that I was a film guy. But once I bust out my police ID card, that was it. Anyways, um, here's Camden with the, the nice graffiti, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I'll let you know more when I unpack. Maybe I'll do some more filming there. All right, but let me get out of Camden because uh, I'm parked in a permit zone. Um, I'm out of here. Uh, okay, see you next time. Yo guys, um, so I came back uh, with my uh, gun purchases. Uh, can't say that in England uh, very often just because it never really happens. Uh, I generally order off a BBK UK store um, to get most of my like machine guns and stuff like that. But uh, I always found their shotguns and some other guns were always a bit overpriced. So. Anyways, um, after I found out about this place in Camden, I thought I'd just swing by real quick, uh, parked illegally, yeah, because um, I went there with the intention to pay, but it just didn't happen. Anyways, enough of that crap, now let's get to the unboxing, okay? So, this is the first Glock I've ever purchased. Um, everybody knows what a Glock is, all right? It's lightweight, you can go through metal detectors, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, keep in mind, these are BBs. Uh, so basically, it comes with the blue. Now, as soon as you sort of paint this, it is illegal. Um, but up until now, basically the cops will even recognize that because it's basically a training um, BB prop or whatever, you know, not everybody uses it for BB shooting. Um, a lot of people, they use it for paintballs and stuff like that. I don't know if there's many collectors in England, um, but you know, because I'm Americanized and I've grown up like around the world and stuff like that. I used to buy guns and ammo, you know what I mean? So just like, I love guns. Now, the very important message here is that guns kill people um, and they're not great, yet the evolution of the gun, the history of the gun, um, especially if you're into America or whatever, the history of America, it would be nothing without the gun. Anyway, so besides that, that's the Glock uh, magazine there. I gotta say, weight-wise, it's pretty good. Um, I always prefer like this, once you cock it already, and then it just makes it a bit easier. So when I use it for film purposes, it just goes like that, you know? I was shooting it, and then you gotta like pull it level, and you struggle, <laughs> you know? Um, anyway, so no BBs in this. I'm not planning to use it as a BB gun uh, because my shooting days are over. Um, I used to have targets. I used to basically um, shoot at like animals and stuff, but shh, don't tell anyone. I regret it now. I'm a Buddhist now, so I don't even like kill insects and shit, except for mosquitoes and like certain flies. Um, all right, but anyway, that's enough about the BBs. Um, just so you know, like that's the box that comes in. It looks very good. You know, this is the first time I'm doing any kind of unboxing thing just because this is the first time for me going into a store and buying a gun in England. Uh, in Asia, it's no big deal. If you're white, you can buy whatever the fuck you want. You can be like two and buy a fucking gun as long as you got the money, you know? In Indonesia, I used to have the best collection back then until now, until modern times, so I'm like grown up. Um, I had everything out of handguns, shotguns, machine guns, all BB, yeah? Nothing real, obviously. Um, but anyways, let's get to the, the main event, okay? So now, if you ever heard of a Spaz, you ever seen Terminator 2, the cocking Sir Connor thing at the end, you know? That's a Franchi Spaz, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how big this fucking box is. Oh my God, like some weight to that. God, I have to like hold it back. Look at this shit, oh my dude. This is bigger and heavier than my fucking machine guns, all right? And this is a spaz, okay? If you know what a spaz is, and not the retard spaz, no. Um, anyway, let's have a little looky inside. So basically it comes like this, so a manual, um, which I checked. Uh, I still haven't figured out this fucking speed loader thing. All right, I think it doesn't work because it's cheap. Maybe that's why it was uh, the cheapest because usually they're over 100 pounds, but I went with the cheapest box standard thing just because I'm using it as a prop and not really intended to, to use it as a gun or a BB or whatever. Um, but the cool thing is it comes with these shotgun cartridges, I guess they're called, the shells. 
They're kind of like a hollow, but they take uh, three BBs at a time. So it's like a scatter shot. If you don't think about how shotguns work, it's usually scatter. They're not always contained. It depends on the barrel, really. If you have a short snub nose, like double barrel, it basically like spreads like crazy. But if you've got these longer ones, they're more tactical, more precise, but they will still fire up multiple like, you know, bits. I think there's more than three pellets in the real shotgun shells, but isn't that cool how you can actually load it and pretend like it's a real shotgun. Now, um, comes with these BBs as well. As I said, I tried loading it yesterday, but it didn't really work. Um, but either way, the shotgun shells, they look great. And I kind of went in there like, okay, well, if I can't get a gun, I'll just buy some shotgun shells and then like, you know, put them around my vest or something like that. Now, let's come to the next bit. Now look at this fancy thing. Ooh, bit of styrofoam. Ooh, bit more styrofoam. I didn't have that in the previous ones. Uh, now just give me a second until I take it out, all right? Because it's like very delicate and I'll ruin the styrofoam. So when the guy uh, first kind of gave me the box, it was basically like rattling with something. I don't know what it was, if it was a BB's loose or whatever, but it was a silica gel, which of course I cleared out and chucked away straight away. Um, didn't get a discount for that, but yeah, 70 quid, 69.99, and then here it is. <laughs> Look at that fucking size of that fucker. Oh my God, dude. Look, like in America, this is totally normal that you run around with this, you can go in stores, you can buy this shit. They have a lot of gas powered stuff. I mean, the airsoft basically, the basic BBs is really, really basic. It's just like a little pump and pressure kind of, you know, uh, device mechanism. So I'll show you how tough it is for this one. Oh, you're gonna pull all the way back. You know, that's not even it. Ah, that's it, okay. And then once it's cocked, you can't actually pull it anymore, which I don't like because I really want to like it cock it, but I guess that's like the pressure building up. And then listen to this. Oh, I got the safety on. <laughs> Hang on. Oh. <laughs> now don't put guns your people, man. And put them in at cameras, except if you're Alec Baldwin. Oh. <laughs> okay, anyway, so that's the Spaz, the Frenchy. Um, I guess it was like an Italian brand or something. Um, basically redone by the Americans. Now, like another little feature it's got here is basically Woo! That's where the shotgun cartridges go in, all right? So that again. Woo! <laughs> okay, so. They basically go like this and then slot in. Um, but the thing is, it's not that smooth and it's nothing like a real shotgun where you kind of load them in either side or you can load them in from underneath. So that's kind of accurate, but it's generally from the side just so it has like immediate ignition there. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else I can say about that. It's got a little uh, basically like strap here, um, well for the straps, you know, if you've got any of them. Uh, the holster, whatever you want to call it, uh, basically sling is the technical term, but you know, it's got many. Um, so there's just like the one piece there. It's not really designed to be like a sling sort of weapon. Um, however, I'm going to use it for my SWAT Epic um, because I have to and it's so badass. Um, but yeah, I spent 70 quid on this and this is the most expensive gun I've ever bought. Of like, I literally have a maximum of about 50 quid for the machine guns, but this is like, you know, unheard of. I mean, in Camden in town, in London, UK, you know? We're not talking about America. We're not talking about gun capital of the fucking planet because they're obsessed with guns because dating back to when the English were there and they're fighting English, they made this silly amendment about like, everybody gotta carry guns in case the English ever come back, right? Hundreds of years later, did the English come back? No, everybody's at peace, kind of. But like, you know what I'm saying? So if everybody's at peace, why the fuck do they still need guns shooting each other killing people in schools and stuff like that. See, I'm doing it for fun. I do it for acting, filming purposes only. They are props. They are not fucking murder weapons. Yeah, a kid every now and then he runs around shooting people in school. Or they shoot people in fucking churches and mosques and all that stuff. It's crazy, all right? Ancient wars were fought because there was nothing else to do. Now we have the internet, we have everything to do, yet people still fucking have guns and shoot people. Now that's not me. Now I just wish I could cock it like this, like Sarah Connor, but obviously she had the real deal. She had the Jim Cameron Spaz, not the fucking BB gun version. <laughs> so anyways, um, that's it for my Spaz, like basically video. Um, I'll give you like a little highlight of like where I kind of started out, if I didn't know if I was gonna get one because I checked out the website, um, but they have this thing called the VCR Act. So you have to prove that uh, you're basically like in the film business, that you're a stuntman, that you're something to do with like basically uh, reenactments or paintball or something like that. Um, so like some guys come in there by like, as I said, the Glock and stuff, little practice sessions because it gives you some weight. So it actually gives you a bit of the real feel of what the actual gun might be like, except it's not as heavy, obviously, because it's made out of plastic, not completely metal. However, it's got metal components like this. So you really feel the weight, okay? 
And then the thing is, they always say never shoot like that, okay? Because basically with the BBs, the BBs can curve and all that. So if you're trying to aim, or if you're just shooting stupid, then it doesn't really matter. But if you're actually trying to aim at a target or whatever, paintball people, um, you should never do this sideways because it's got this called hop up effect. So basically when it shoots out, the air carries it up and then it basically goes over. So like a real bullet would just like shoot straight and then dip down eventually with gravity and force and all that. Um, but BBs are obviously little plastic pellets, so not quite the same thing. Now it's enough rambling, I'll let you guys get back to what you're doing. But uh, just know I got a spaz now, right? So don't fucking leave. Don't come in my house, because I got a spaz, dude. If I can load it and figure out how the BBs work, if it is. But it looks legit, right? I don't have to paint it, I don't have to do nothing. It came like this. Um, so anyway. Peace out and uh, shout out to Wolf Airsoft in Camden just because you made my day yesterday. Um, there was some traffic involved and all that, but I didn't get a ticker link, so that was all good because 70 quid plus 65, that would be like way over budget, right? Um, I already spent over 170 quid. Okay, but shh, don't tell anyone. Um, that's it. All right, YouTube, take these. Bye.